What's going on, YouTube? This is your neighborhood DraftKings addict, bringing my top picks for the Sunday MLB main slate, guys. All right, so this game is gonna uh, these games are gonna start out at around one o five, I believe Eastern time. So it's a pretty early, uh, you know, start to the uh, contest, guys. So get your lineups ready. All right, guys. So uh, let's go with the top plays, and as you can see on the screen, guys, we got a course game on the on the slate, guys. So uh, pick your poison, right? All right, but as you can see, they projected to put up five runs and six runs, guys. So it should be a high power game there. So we're going to definitely get us a little bit of piece of that. So let's get into my top picks for the day, guys. All right. So here's my top picks for the day. All right. So with uh, Pitcher, I'm paying up for Corey Kluber, man. All right. So let's just go ahead and just do it, man. This guy here uh, put up 46 DraftKings points versus Detroit. All right. 30 versus Seattle. 25 versus Minnesota. All right, so he's going up against Baltimore, who has a 28% K rate versus righties. All righty, and a 72 WRC plus. All right, so I like Baltimore. They in a, uh, now they are in a hitter-friendly part, right? But Kluber has one of the highest swinging strike rates on the on the board, guys. So I'm locking him in, guys. All right, so for a value play, I like James McCann, Detroit guy. All right, uh, playing against Kansas City. I much like him for a nice value play. All right, he has a nice um, uh, OPS versus the uh, the pitcher that he's uh, facing, guys. So, all right, here's my course play, guys. Harvey, Javier Bays, guys. So if you look at this guy's track record, man, 33, 15, 24, 15. All right, so he's he's been on a heater, 41, 28. All right, so this is a guy that can put up a lot of points, man. And as you can see in the last game, he put up 33 DraftKings points. He had four hits, all right, with six at-bats. Home run and a couple RBIs, man. So, I like this kid here, Javier Bays. Like him in, 4.7K in the coolest game. All right. John Segura, I like him. Again, he's a nice play off of BVP. Uh, versus, not better versus pitcher, but uh, versus the pitcher handedness. So, um, he has some nice numbers versus uh, this pitcher. All right. As you can see from the splits, uh, he has 27 um, points versus Texas. This was in the last game where um, Seattle went off. And uh, told these boys up, man. But Segura has a point three eight three, uh, Woba a point one three four, ISO and a point four seven two slugging percentage, guys. Yeah, so I like Segura. I believe he's batting like second or third. Where is he batting? And he batting in the top of the order. Where's he at? Seattle. There you go. All right, yeah, he's batting second. All right, guys. So I like his chance. And as you see right here, guys, we got sixteen mile per hour wind going out of the field. In Texas, which is an extreme hitter's ballpark, guys. Uh, the seven best uh, for a hitter. So, I like Segura to possibly get another home run on the board. Okay, guys? He's due. All right. Another play. Uh, Kane in Milwaukee. All right. Milwaukee has been hot versus Miami, guys. As you can see by the uh, game log, they put up 8 and 12 in the last two games, guys. And his next guy coming up, man, is not any better. Last name Smith. All right. But Milwaukee is a 19.1% K rate versus lefty, which means they're they're not striking out, and they have a point one three four ISO, which means they if they get on, get the bat on the ball, it's going to be hard, guys. So I like Lorenzo Cain to uh, take advantage of that, guys. So he has a nice uh, Woba versus the pitcher handedness, and uh, I like Cain again batting in the top of, or the meet the order. All right, I believe he's batting leadoff. And then we got Brian, guys. Again, Brian has been hot the last couple of games versus Miami. Again, 21 and 18, guys. All right. Got a home run in the last two games. Now, do I expect him to put up a third home run? No, but he should be able to get a couple of hits, some RBIs, but um, we'll see. All right. But I like Brian. Again, he has a nice Woba versus the pitcher that he's facing, guys. All right. Herrera, again, another hot bat at home in Philly. All righty. I like his chances of putting up some nice points here, as you can see. Uh, the last three games versus Pittsburgh, he has 12, 3, and 7. All right, four at-bats. Got a couple of hits in each game. All right, RBI. Got one third base, so he knocked that one out pretty good. All right, and his offense is kind of hot and cold. But, again, I like his numbers versus the pitcher that he's facing, guys. All right. But that's nice. That's a nice little value play at all field, guys. But there's a lot of good options on the board, guys. You know, Stan has a, another uh, nice matchup, right? Stanton has a nice matchup versus a lefty, I believe. All right, which is always something that you want to definitely look at when he's facing a lefty. All right, so that's coming up. All right, you got Judge. Judge is also another guy that's 
on the slate that's in a good spot. All right, then pretty much all of um, uh, Chicago, the Cubs. All right, playing in uh, in Coors Field. All right, guys. So Rizzo, Bryant, Schwarber. You know, of course, Bays is one of my plays of the day, guys. But uh, good luck on today's slate, guys. Again, it's eleven games. You got plenty of options, and uh, good luck on on whatever plays you play with. All right, guys. So. Uh, before we got here, guys, let's talk about my research tool, uh, Draft Dashboard. In the uh, description of this video is a link to a seven-day trial for one buck, all right? So if you go through the link in the description, guys, you can get my player pool. All right, so once you log into your account, go to Watch Players, click on um, Watch DK Addicts Picks right here, and, you, and my picks will load into your screen, guys. You'll get my player pool, essentially, guys. So, all right, Draft Dashboard. Check the description for the link. Good night, guys.